Hey folks, welcome back to Real Estate Investing Unmasked. Today, we're gonna to talk about the five reasons you need a bigger house. Hey guys, I just wanna give a huge shout out to my Hiveans out there. If you don't know what Hive is, check in the description down below and uh, check out the community that we've got going on over at Hive where you can give your opinion and get paid for it. So the five reasons why you need a bigger house. The first one is, most often, your family's expanding. You've got a family that keeps getting bigger and bigger. Now, one of the things that I have suggested for a long time is that when you're first starting out, that if it's just you or just you and a significant other, you need to buy a very, very small house, something that's super easy to afford and pay the thing off as fast as possible. But along those lines, usually what happens when you get two people that are in love, usually there's a kid that comes along. And if you start off with a condo that's just a studio, at some point you're gonna say, you know what, we probably need some more room here. And and so when your family's expanding, that's time to do it. You may want to wait a year or two because sharing a room with a kid can be annoying, but the first year, you're probably going to want to share the room somewhat with that child because you're going to be protective. The mom's going to want to get up and breastfeed or feed with formula, whatever, change diapers in the middle of the night. So that first year, you're probably okay as your family's expanding to stay in a small place. But as you grow, if you add another child to the mix, you definitely want to have minimum a two bedroom place, potentially a three bedroom place. But if you start off with that studio first and you knock down the payments as much as possible, you're going to find that you're going to have a such a much higher equity. You're going to find that you have so much more equity in the property so that when it comes time to sell or to relocate and rent it out, you're going to have plenty of equity to move on to the next property. You may find that the second reason to upgrade your house to get a bigger house is because your lifestyle simply has changed. When we're younger, when we're in college and everything's really close to us, it's great. You don't have to use a car. You can ride your bike to everything because you live in the city. That can work out really well when you are in your younger 20s, maybe even your upper 20s. But once you start getting into your mid 30s, 40s, that city bustle isn't always exciting. For some of you it is, but for me, it is not at all. So when your lifestyle changes somewhat where you can be more settled down, instead of being in the hustle and the bustle of the city, that might be the time to find something that's a little bit bigger and away from the noise. The third reason, why you should look for a bigger house. Your income's changed. Maybe when you first bought that one smaller place, your income was a little bit lower, you got what you could afford, but over time, your house payment stayed the same and your income kept going up. And at this point, you're ready to say, you know what, I'm ready for the next step. I'm ready for something bigger instead of this cramped place. Now here in America, we like getting things that are huge. I mean, we drink sodas that are they're like 44 ounces. It wouldn't surprise me if somebody ordered a gallon size soda at the drive-thru. Whereas, you know, 40, 50 years ago, the large was a little more like a 12 ounce or a 14 ounce drink. So we love huge things in America. And some of you that are my viewers from outside of America, you probably can recognize that too, but we all like spaces where we have room to roam. And so when your income increases, that would be a good time for you to buy something a little bit larger, a little bit more comfy as it were. Step number four, the fourth reason why you should look for something bigger is something a lot of us have come to find out in these most recent years is, uh, well, your job has evolved. For instance, maybe you were working in the office every day and now you're no longer doing that. Maybe you're working from home and you're in a small house where you've been using your kitchen as your desk. Maybe your kids have been using it as their desk and it's time for you to get a dedicated office. One of the reasons my wife and I recently moved was so that I could get a YouTube studio and I'm still in the process of building it. I will have videos on that later so you guys can see how I built this place and uh, and what it looks like. But for now, one of the reasons why you look for a bigger place is because your job has changed. You start working from home or maybe you're no longer working from home and you can go to a smaller place. But it's nice that when your job has changed to find something where it's more comfortable. And so that would be a great time to look for a bigger place. All right, step number five. Maybe it seems logical, but when you have just simply run out of space <laughs> and you just can't get rid of whatever you have, I'm not saying you're a hoarder, it may be time to find a bigger place. Let's say you've got more toys. We're gonna go with the positive here. Your income's gone up and you've got a bunch of toys, ATVs, RVs, trailers, fifth wheels, whatever. You've got it all and you just can't get rid of it. And instead of paying a storage fee at a storage unit, maybe it's time that you find a bigger place. For instance, where I live now, that's a couple hours from the city, you can buy five acres out here and a huge house for the same price as buying a nice house out in the city. So 
that would be a time when you say, hey, you know what, I'm gonna bring all my toys out to a place where I can store them. I don't have to pay $500, $1,000 a month or whatever for all my toys to be stored, boats and airplanes or whatever. I was just looking at, at buying airplanes just a couple of days ago and some of the hangar fees are, you know, not cheap. Anyway, so when you need more space, you gotta take a look to see what do I have what can I not get rid of? And is my future looking like I'm gonna be getting more? And if it looks like you're gonna be getting more, maybe it's time for you to buy a new space. Anyway guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. For those at Hive, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and uh, don't forget to follow me on 3Speak or on Hive. I am at Bob the Builder 2 and uh, here on YouTube, I am Real Estate Investing Unmasked. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.